Welcome back to the IT Help Desk Professional Tutorial. In this video, I'll be discussing on how to configure your lab environment so, so that you'll be able, you should be able to follow up on this training. As you can see, I'm using a VMware Workstation Professional, but for this tutorial, you can also use a Hyper-V Virtualization or a Virtual Box. And also, you, you want to also make sure that you have um, enough memory on your laptop or desktop or if you even have a Windows Server, you can actually install a VMware Workstation on your Windows Server or a different virtualization environment, but you should also always make sure you have enough memory so that you should be able to follow up on this training because without you having a, um, enough memory or enough disk space on your device, installing a Windows Server, Windows 11, and Windows 10 may consume a lot of memory on your device. If, for example, if I go to my start menu and I do the following MS information info 32 and I enter my system information, you can see I'm using a Proliant DL360 G5. This is actually a HP server, it's actually an old server. And you can see my installed physical memory is about 32 gigabytes. So if I install a Windows Server, Windows 11 and Windows 10, I still have enough memory for my Windows operating system to be able to actually take keep me going. And also, you want to also make sure that if I go to my, let me just go to my display, so you can see that I have a lot of disks, this, which of, of course I have, for example, I have inserted uh, some extra disk into this device. I'm also using an external a NAS server. You can see I'm using a NAS server and also an external disk, which I'll be using to install on my different operating system. So what you want to do, first of all, is you want to make sure that you've configured your VMware workstation. So if I go to, let me just go to my edit and here we go to our preference. And on the preference, you can see, say the default location for this virtual machine is going to be this location. But if you are trying to create a virtual machine, you can actually choose which location you want to save that virtual machine. And also, if I go to my virtual network editor, let me just wait for that to get open. Here you can see we, we are actually using, it says we have the host only, we have the VM net 2 host only also we have the vm where vm net 8 nat so we've actually been using a nat so we, which means we're going to get an ip address automatically from our dscp server as from our internal router so what i'm also going to do right now is we're going to create the different virtual machines so what i want to do first of all is to go to file and here you can see we're going to create a new virtual machine so let me first of all try to install a Windows, create a virtual machine where we, where we are going to install a, our operating system. So I'm going to, in the next video, we're going to be installing all the different operating system we need for this lab. So let me just go to next. And here I'm going to say I want to install the operating system later. So click next. And here we can see this is going to actually be a Microsoft Windows operating system. You can see we have the different options like Linux, Novell, Solaris, VMware, XE, and other. But I'm going to actually just select a Windows 10 operating system. It's going to be a 64-bit and then click Next. And here we're going to actually choose where we want to actually store. You can see the default location for the virtual machine. So I can decide to actually just give this device a, um, a name. Let me just call it C001. But I'm going to change the location of where I want to actually save this operating system. So if I go to my disk, PC. So I want to actually save it in disk F because I have it about more than 400 gigabyte, gigabytes available. So I'm just going to scroll down and here we have a disk F and here I'm going to actually create a new folder and just call this C001. Select that. Click OK. And you can see it, the location is going to be my F drive and that's a C001. So let's just click Next. And I'm actually going to give this the minimum, maximum disk is going to be about 100 gigabytes. And I'm going to store the virtual disk as a single file. But you can actually split the virtual disk into multiple files. But for this training, I'm going to select the store virtual disk as a single file. 
click next and here we can actually customize our hardware by actually saying that okay the memory is about two gigabytes i can as well increase it to about four gigabytes and you can see the processor we have just one processor and the cd dvd i can decide to use an iso image let me just click browse and here i'm going to actually just go to let me see where I actually store this. I think I actually store my this is going to be on my D drive. That was a software because I created a different folder on software where I'll be selecting my Windows 10 Professional, my Windows Server, and also we're going to be using our Windows 11, which you've downloaded from the website of Microsoft. So let me just go back again to my this drive and select the D disk software, Windows 10 Professional, and you can see this actually an ISO image click open and then click close and here we're going to actually click finish so what we're going to do actually we're going to actually do the same for our windows server 2022 because we're installing windows server 2022 a windows 10 and a windows 11 operating system